getting ready to have our first Kobe steak, you guys. Very excited. The building that the restaurant is in is beautiful. It's a Sumi Motor building. It's on the 51st floor. Let's go check it out. Check out the roof. Isn't it awesome? They call this building the Triangle Building, and I think it's because of this. This is a restaurant we chose. So this restaurant's been open since 1945. Can you imagine? They are also the creators of teppanyaki. So thank you to them. So our meal came with vegetables. Check out that meat. Oh my God, I can taste it right now. That's a gorgeous salad, right? There he goes. Oh, those onions just melt in your mouth. Oh, and the daikon cooked this way. Awesome. And who doesn't like a little bok choy, right? And that goes right on top.
Everything tastes so good. Oh my goodness. Well worth every penny. Even the bok choy is yummy. The veggies are great, soup is great, everything is great. Check out that garlic. Oh, it was so good. Garlic chips, delicious. And those were cooked to perfection. The steak worth every penny. Cooked to perfection as well. You get bean sprouts, onion, rice. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. And you get salad and soup. And you also get a cup of coffee and dessert. Oh, look at that naughty. That soup was delicious, as well as the salad. And here's our coffee at the end of our meal. After eating that much, yeah, you need it. Man, that view was so nice. Japan is awesome, you guys. It's a must visit for sure. Oh my God, that was delicious. The best steak I've ever had in my life. Uh, that was the most delicious meal. It, it was actually our, our last meal here probably in Japan, um, but it was one of the most special meals yeah, we've ever awesome. had. It was really good. This building is amazing. It's on the 51st floor. Uh, the service is great. Our chef was, it was totally fantastic. The, the view was as good as the food, which yeah. was just absolutely incredible. Um, so, it. yeah. This is the Triangle Tower. Uh, if you get a chance to get that to Shibuya or Shinjuku, Definitely. you must try. You have, you have to try this place at least one time in your life. It's a little spendy, but worth every penny. Every penny. Every penny. I paid more pennies. <laughs> Thanks for, for watching. Thing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Video, make sure to like. Subscribe. Hit it. that notification bell. This is the Golden Guy. We're in Shinjuku. Check out how close everything is. The bars are downstairs, upstairs. It's pretty cool, you guys. There's so many places to, to drink. That's pretty much what it's all about. So Dave and I chose a place that was upstairs. Kind of scary. Check it out. Really, really steep stairs. We loved it here. Our bartender was awesome. Check out those sake. Ew. It's his birthday yesterday. Ooh. Happy birthday. Hey guys, we just had some um, whiskey. Yeah, super good. Yeah, super A little good. spendy, but it was fun. Anyways. It was really fun. Kathy was scared to go upstairs. But uh, we went up there and the guy was super, super nice. And yeah, spoke birthday. English. It was his birthday. He spoke a little English and it was his first birthday. Or his birthday the day He just before. turned 22, right? So we had a conversation and I'm a little buzzed. So this is like a no tip culture, but we tipped him. Yeah. What, 2,000 yen, which is like 20 bucks. bucks. It's not a big deal, yeah. right? It was so, his birthday the day, day before, so we're like, Happy birthday! He was very happy. He was very happy. <laughs> Made his day. So, He's not used to it, so. Yeah. We haven't tipped this whole time because it's a no tip culture. Culture, usually. right? Other but, than other than Uber and the taxis, they kind of like do want to tip. You yeah. don't have to. But you don't. You didn't have to tip them either. But we're from a uh, we're from America where we're used to tipping, and we would have spent so much more, like 20, 25 percent more on everything we eat, and so. It was worth it. Yeah, we saved all our money up for him for to have a tip. That's right. <laughs> hey, Japan is awesome. So if you like our videos, make sure to like. That helps us. It helps the videos move. We appreciate it. Subscribe because that would make us happy. And, uh, yeah. Any comments? Come pie and bonsai. <laughs> no, she had two drinks and she's out of control. I am not. That was really good whiskey. <laughs> I hope she can get us home. Uh -oh. I have yet to use my Google Maps.
Be careful, Google Maps is kind of oh, a little not. untrusty. Well, at least on my phone. My phone doesn't have the good internet. But we'll tell you more about that. Make sure to stay tuned. We'll show you yeah, all of Japan. We'll do a whole video on like do's and don'ts and don'ts and don'ts. And do's is definitely golden guy, okay? Shabuku, and we're choosing Shabu Shabu because Dave's never had it. So Dave and I decided on this because we're not very hungry because with the original pork belly, dry aged turd ribs. Rice and veggies, that sounds perfect. Cheers to you guys. Mm -hmm. So, the meat only takes a, about a, a quick second. Potato takes five minutes. The vegetables, like broccoli and stuff, roughly about three minutes. You get two sauces. They recommended the garlic chips inside the brown sauce. And then the ponzi sauce, they recommend the green onion. And I recommend lots of garlic chips because they are delicious. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I just put all the veggies in there. I started off with the, the thicker root vegetables since they cook a little bit longer. I'm going to put the lighter ones in later. So. Yeah, this is a flavor. I think it should only take a second. And that ponzi right here. A little bit more. Perfect. Love it. Like this. Get it completely coated. Oh my god, it's so good. Seconds? About. It's thinly sliced, so it takes really fast. Definitely less than a minute. Put it on the snowy rice? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't eat it by yourself. You no, have I'm to not. dip it. I'm going to dip it in some of that. Soak it in there. This is really fun. Go. Kind of like a um, do-it-yourself kind of food, like whatever you feel like making it taste like. Like sesame sauce, really good. So that's the beef. It literally takes like uh, 10-15 seconds to cook. And then you put it in the sauce. I have some mushroom in there. Oh, it's going to be a great bite. First time having shabu shabu. What do you think, Dave? I like it. It's a little different at the, at the beginning, but just get a little instruction from the people that work there. And they'll kind of find your way through. Find the way you like your sauce. What sauce? And what sauce? You're not comfortable with uh, chopsticks? They give you spoons. And it's a lot of spoon right over here. So you can get everything out. I just put rest of my veggies in it. That looks totally good. So I have a, the sesame sauce, and then I put a boatload of crunchy garlic in there. Just a lightning punch of punch of sauce. I ate that, and I got some of the beans. Bean trap that I've already cooked. That's a little crunch, a little bit of rice. And every once in a while, I'm finish it off with precious halibut cream. So we have a different way of cooking. Dave saves his like piece at a time. Mine's all in the soup. Sorry, I'm cheating a little bit. I like it so much. I'm actually just 
steal more than I'm supposed to get. No, you can have as much as you like. Yeah, because it comes out of that little tiny hole. You have control of your temperature. I'm just about done, so I'm getting ready to turn mine off. Yeah, it's good a bit. Love it, love it, uh, shabu shabu. First time for me in Japan. <laughs>